Hey there! Today we'll have a look at this pen, and this pen was sent to me by Matt. And this is a fairly interesting pen. It looks like it's not an ultra expensive pen. In reality, it is not an ultra expensive pen, but it's very fascinating. There's a story to this. The brand is Skillcraft, and Skillcraft is a company uh, that actually uh, it assembles pens, and those pens are used by a lot of US government agencies, like the military, for example, and the assembly is actually done by blind people, which is a very interesting opportunity, of course, for blind people to, to work, uh, but they also, the, the, the company makes interesting pens, uh, ball points, but also fountain pens like this executive model. I, I've just saved you the, um, uh, the bubble so that you could see what it comes in. There we go. Uh, it's simple packaging, of course. And it says, attractive design, fountain pen, fine point iridium nib, all metal barrel construction with durable lacquer finish and refillable pen comes complete with both black and blue ink cartridges. And it is assembled by Industries for the Blind in West Alice from components made in China. Alright, so what do we have? We have a pen that I actually found quite fascinating. And the reason I found it fascinating is that it really is well made and it actually looks nicely made. Something I enjoy. This is a step up from a lot of cheaper pens. Um, let, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. You notice the cat in the coming in? Yeah, that's the cat checking out the camera lens. All right. So let's let's start at the top of the cap there, the finial. You can see it's just reflective. It is cut at a slanted angle, which I've always enjoyed. I think it's a nice a nice design in caps. We have a clip. The clip has a little uh, spring. It's not. I wouldn't say it's really spring loaded, but it's just connected with a, a small little metal plate, and it's very springy, as you can see. I really like the blue lacquer of this one. I think it's a very attractive model. So does the cap. Uh, then we go down a bit, we have this center band. The center band only says Skillcraft, uh, the, name, the, the brand name of course. Then you go down, barrel, three rings, slightly tapered barrel, and another gold colored ending. Yes, the cat finds the camera extremely fascinating. Okay, so that's that. Open up the pen, you can post it, sit in my lap. Make a decision, sit in my lap. All right. We got the cat. Uh, the section is simple. It's a simple plastic design. It tapers and it has another gold lip at the end to keep the cap in place. And then you have a simple iridium point nib. It does not say iridium point Germany. It does say iridium point. I have the feeling this may be a Jovo nib. I'm not sure, but that's uh, what, what it strikes me given the, the scroll work uh, that I think I've seen before. Uh, in any case, it is a nice, I would say, number five nib. Ink. It takes cartridges, as said, uh, it came with a, a black and a, uh, um, a blue one. Um, the black one, there we go, fits in the back of the barrel so you can carry two cartridges in there and given the length of that and them being standard international short cartridges, I'm sure you can fit in a converter and use that for your ink supply if you so prefer. Okay, those are the parts of the pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I think it's a very cool initiative that these pens are assembled by blind people. That adds a little bit to the pen, gives a little bit of a backstory, and of course it's very cool that the US government creates such an opportunity. I think that's very nice. In all honesty, you could do worse than buy this pen. They're not that expensive, and I think they're well put together. The blue lacquer really looks cool. It's reflective, it's well done. The gold highlights, I think they're pretty nicely done. I don't think it looks particularly gaudy, like some uh, more inexpensive pens do. And because it's so much metal, it actually has a decent feel. It's not an ultra large pen, nor is it extremely small, decently sized pen. And when you post it, you definitely have a decent pen. It posts securely, uh, and I would say that's a very decently sized pen. It will become a little bit top-heavy, reason being it has a metal cap, 
and doesn't post extremely deeply um, but that's uh, that's you know something not everybody posts that could be an issue I was very pleased by the nib the nib they describe as fine I think it is something between fine and medium you, you may know these kind of nondescript fine medium line uh, nibs but it is very smooth it keeps up well I have not really have this run dry on me so it is a well tuned nib with a good adequate feed which is very nice smooth writing experience I found this very pleasant especially given the price I have seen pens that write a lot worse at this price point what do I not like about it well it's always easy to say that this slightly top heaviness it is a bit bothersome especially because for me the pen is definitely on the I would say shorter side if I use it unposted and um, so I like using this something else I don't like so much uh, this is an, a matter of aesthetics um, the section is black whereas all else is blue I think it would have been very cool if they could have used a I think it's plastic the section it would be really cool if they could have found a plastic that would match this blue a little bit more I think that would just make it look more like a unit a small peeve another thing I would say is I find the section to be on the thicker side and there is not really anything wrong with that but given the smaller nib I think it looks a little bit out of proportion I think if this would have a slightly bigger nib maybe even number six uh, it would look a bit better again the nib writes very well though so I won't really complain about that that is pretty much all there's to it let's have a look at the writing sample I hope this was useful and I'm glad to see you later bye bye okay so here we go with the skill craft executive uh, the nib is a nondescript fine medium and the ink is the cartridge supplied with it let's do a bit of writing Writing is smooth, a fairly hard nib that does not really yield as you write, but it is a fairly smooth experience. Let's do some writing. Don't really see any skipping. Feed seems to keep up, or appears to keep up fairly well with the writing. Let's have a look at the wetness. Of course, that's a bit of a property of the ink as well and this is not the wettest ink on the planet but I don't think the pen is an extremely wet writer to begin with okay some line variation it's a steel nib and as you can see you can definitely squeeze out some line variation which is actually quite nice I think reverse writing for those of you who enjoy such things uh, is very impressive. I'm not really a person who uh, reverses the nib to write finer, but usually the nib gets a little scratchier, but with this nib it's a very smooth experience. So if you like that, you can take your nib from medium, I would say, to fine. Okay, maybe even extra fine. That's it. I hope this was useful. Matt, thanks a lot for sending us this pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.